Hi, Aries. Happy December. Happy holidays. I'm going to do a little bit of a different read today. It's going to be a little bit longer, so I'll try to uh, talk a little bit faster. I just thought it would give us, um, I thought it would be a nice little treat for the end of the year. So um, here we go. All right. Remember, guys, this is general. For something more specific, please just check out my website. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Okay. Let me go. Here we go. The overall energy uh, for uh, this read is uh, the Page of Coins. He's about uh, financial opportunities, money coming in, news about money coming. We love to hear that, don't we? Um, so that's what uh, what the overall is here. Okay. Um, in the near past, we've got uh, the Page of Swords. He's the energy that's ready for anything. He is that. Um, the power line, the whipping power line, the just roaring ready to go, um, uh, ready for anything, excitement, um, starting something new that was in the near past. That was the whole year, basically. Um, in the present circumstance, we have the tower card. That's not a big deal. Um, the tower card is just um, the clearing of something to make room for something else. The reason that this card looks so scary for obvious reasons. It's the interim. It's not the final uh, outcome. It's the clearing of the the field, to, you know, to build the beautiful house. It's the tilling the garden to make the beautiful flowers. It's the, it's the process of um, what's to come. And the reason that we really don't, uh, it kind of scares us is because this card is never a shock when it shows up. It's uh, more a, uh, it's just not, it, it's a more of a what you should have changed but chose not to for whatever reason. Um, now the universe is going to come in and change it for you. So it's that lack of uh, control that really just uh, puts the fear in this card. But it's really not bad, guys, because the universe is rigged in our favor always. Um, so sometimes it's better just to, to release uh, control over it and let the universe design it how it's supposed to be. That's in the present uh, situation, uh, present circumstance. In the near future, we have uh, the Hierophant. He is about uh, teaching, learning, um, structure, um, balance, uh, getting things in order, just aligning our lives uh, to what we want them to be. The focal point of this whole read is the Eight of Coins. This is about diligently working away with something, financial security, um, uh, learning something new, taking on a new job. Uh, this I knew when this card shows up as the overall that this had to do with uh, finance, which is a good thing. Um, there's nothing uh, that would counterbalance that here. I think the upheaval may be uh, in the job arena, getting a new job. Um, Sometimes when the wool gets pulled out from under us, again, it's not a surprise. We know what companies are doing now. It's just, it doesn't make it any more pleasant. Um, but the focal point um, is learning something new, taking on a new job, taking on a new class, learning something. Um, this is a good card to have as your focal because it is a card of financial stability. Uh, um, and, and, and that is what we want. With that card, though, I want to bring into uh, light, don't make it, it is your focal, obviously, um, we need means to support ourselves. However, don't cut out everything else in your life just to focus on this. Um, that won't, that won't serve you any, any good. The obstacle here um, is the strength card. She's about, uh, uh, fortitude, strength, compassion, balance. There is a lot going on here. Um, so I think that trying to uh, maintain that balance may be a little bit challenging. So it's just pulling your attention to it. If you realize that you're on a short fuse one day, realize you may just want to stay away from people, choose your words wisely, um, 
it's just something uh, Uh, keep compassion in the forefront of this. Um, when we have a lot going on, we tend to just say things sometimes without thinking, and you can't pull those words back. So that's just um, a warning to, uh, to, 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 in the midst of all of this, keep your balance. Stay balanced. This too shall pass, whatever comes up, um, whatever this is. Um, the blessing card is also in uh, it's the challenge card, the seven of wands. This card is is only a challenge because you're really fighting for something that you truly believe in. The uh, it's uh, uh, people coming at you with different uh, points of view. The the you have the the upper hand here. You have the panoramic view of what you're uh, striving for here. The challenge is to uh, keep going. You're going to meet opposition. This is a card of success, though. Um, stand your ground. Don't compromise. Uh, again, though, I think that this may come up in the obstacle. Clearly state what you're doing and where you're going. Make it well known so there's no misunderstandings. I tend to think that this is in a job arena. Um, this is a card of victory, though. Uh, you have the upper hand because you can see, uh, like I said, the panoramic view of how this is going to lay out more than your opponent. So just stand your ground on that. Um, the outcome here um, is the Page of Cups. He's about synchronicity, timing, um, uh, again, compassion, something that you are... Um, you're emotionally uh, stable in, and that's why I think this is not going to be an issue for you. You know what you're doing. You know where you're going here. Um, and the strength card, I think, is just a reminder that you do have the upper hand, so stay your course. Um, take the high road here. Um, I see you seeking guidance on this in the very near future. Uh, that may be uh, with a mentor, with uh, someone in the community, someone that you really value their input, uh, maybe someone from another uh, company. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that this actually has to do with a career. Um, but again, guys, the energy is financial opportunities here. So even if you were to lose your job, you will get another job right away. There's not going to be a big lapse in here. I see nothing to indicate any kind of financial setback. Um, I see you you going for what you want, and I see you doing it in a, uh, a healthy way, uh, um, not stepping over people to get uh, where you're going. Let's pull some energy on this. Okay. Uh, don't worry about this. This is all going to work out. That is uh, what I've got here. Everything is aligning for you. You have nothing to worry about here. And this card sits right under, uh, in the near future, under the Hierophant. He could be your, your counsel. Uh, maybe you've got to uh, deal with some insurance issues, some, some tax ramifications, something. Um, again, not a bad card. Um, okay. Right underneath the present uh, circumstances, which is uh, the tower card here, declaring to make room for the new, we've got the happy family card. This is not going to impact you guys in any way. This is a blessing card. You're not, uh, like I said, if you lose your job, you will get another one instantly. If you're looking for another job, you're going to find one. This is a blessing card. Um, there's nothing to worry about here. Um, the focus, again, is on um, diligently working towards something. 
if there's any indication that you think something is not above board, go with that um, and find resolution to that. Find out why uh, you're feeling like that because your your point on the deceit card sits right underneath uh, the the uh, the eight of coins here. And given this is the focal card, this is also bringing into light here that you've got to. Uh, someone may not be doing this intentionally. Um, it, it may just be something like I said that's an oversight. But if you're picking up that something, uh, if you're getting any kind of gut feeling follow that. that. That's what I'm going to say here. Um, okay. This could be um, the door to romance sits right under uh, the strength card and she's sitting in that obstacle position. This could be you trying to uh, balance uh, because this is the door to romance. This is uh, either um, a new phase of this relationship starting um, or it could be um, a brand new relationship. So either way, that could be the obstacle. Um, given this is a current circumstance and the family card is sitting here, I'm going to say that whatever this is, uh, is currently happening. This isn't um, going to be... Uh, that your relationship takes on uh, a new phase. I think that uh, you also may be looking for a new job to try to balance that. Um, it may have caused some strife there. Although if it did, I don't see anything major. I think it may be just something that you had discussed. Um, and now uh, that opens the door to a deeper uh, relationship. If you're not currently in a relationship, it's uh, you trying to balance that, is it trying to incorporate maybe a new relationship into your uh, lifestyle, your life, how your life is. Um, either way, not bad in that arena. Um, Again, this is showing up in the blessing position, not worried about you at all. You may need to get a little bit creative in uh, how you keep your stamina going for this, but you will. Um, things will fall into place with that is where I'm going. Um, just when you think you're on your last leg there, keep going. Don't quit this because that is a part of victory also. Um, and you'll do it in a compassionate way. You're not going to steamroll over people to, to get where you're going. Um, in the outcome here, you have, uh, this is the, the, the temple path. All these hoops you're having to jump through right now are for a reason. Every single one of them is getting you to where you need to go. Remember, guys, um, when I say that when we're making big strides in our lives, this is the hostility card. This is the overall energy for the Oracle cards. When we're making changes, it could be a relationship that's uh, 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 not feeling balanced. It could be it could trying to juggle different areas of your life at one time. Sometimes can uh, you know harsh words can come out. Uh, keep your wits about you. Be civil. Uh, don't let uh, the little angst of whatever this is, this little upset here, get uh, get the best of you. Keep uh, keep your decorum here. Um, yep, I see money coming in. I think that this is really surrounding a job. Um, and I see a relationship. So it could have been trying to balance the two, um, but you do it. This card right here is a financial security card. 
and it's in the focal position. So like I said, guys, I know this is a scary time. People are worried about their job. I don't want to put any fear into this reading because I'm telling you, if you lose your job, you're going to get one instantly. It's not, you're not going to have a lapse there. Okay. So I tried to speed a little bit along because I know I had uh, a little bit more to get through on here. I hope that this helped you in some way, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely uh, holiday.